is in big demand in the Thai capital Bangkok as the city continues to grow. The cement in concrete comes from Saraburi province, the heart of the Thai cement industry. This is the country's biggest cement factory. It churns out 20,000 tons a day. Kong, as he's known to his fellow workers, is proud that business is booming, and also that the factory has begun to switch to greener ways of generating electricity. Rice husks are burned at the cement works to produce energy. The soft, fine biomass is supplied by local rice mills. These rice husks are extremely suitable. They don't have to be ground up. That saves energy and money. They're cheaper than coal in any case. All that makes cement production more economical and less damaging to the environment. And producing cement uses an incredible amount of energy. The ingredients have to be fired at 1400 degrees Celsius. Kong says that since rice husks have been used at the factory to generate that heat, the CO2 balance has improved. The biomass now delivers 10% of the electricity. The rest comes from coal. A constant supply is important for production because the factory works around the clock. There can be no interruption. We need a constant supply. Otherwise, the quality of the cement suffers. To ensure that, we had to invest in special machines and conversion. It wasn't easy. Saraburi province is also known for its rice. People here say it's the best in the country. Rice farming is hard work. Any labor-saving shortcuts are gratefully embraced. This field is being partially replanted with pre-rooted rice. I'm filling it in. There's still lots of room between the rows. In the past few weeks, some of the plants died. And this new method saves a lot of work. Outside the rice mills, the latest harvest is being dried. Rice is a staple food in Thailand. So there's no shortage of husks. The grains are separated from the husks in the mills. A flourishing business has emerged, and new jobs have been created. Like that of Narin Yisun. He's employed by a trucking firm to take the husks to the cement factories. I like this job, but sometimes it's a bit stressful because of the large loads. He's driving a load of almost 50 tons here. Rice husks are in demand, partly because the Thai government want to up the amount of biomass used to produce electricity. That's fine with Narin Yisun. I drive every day, seven days a week. But that means I earn money every day. Back to the cement factory. It's happy to play up its green image. Ingo Poole acts as a consultant to the company. He comes here regularly and is familiar with Thai customs. Poole has helped the CM Cement Group to expand its use of biomass and get involved in carbon trading. In exchange for reductions in its CO2 emissions, the company can sell certificates on the international market. Carbon trading is intended to encourage industry to use biomass, but prices for certificates have just collapsed. We now have the worldwide problem that, because consensus is lacking on the future of international climate protection, prices for carbon certificates have dropped dramatically. So, of course, the advantage of using biomass has dropped as well, because the financial rewards of avoiding coal have diminished. That creates a new incentive to use more coal. If you use coal, a ton of cement produces a ton of CO2. 
The cement industry is responsible for about 5 percent of worldwide emissions. The company would like to help reduce those figures. With uh, this lower uh, income from the uh, carbon credit, um, some project might not be very uh, good to invest. So we might put a hole on some of the uh, projects, but we want to keep at least the, uh, some uh, decent level of biomass that uh, will keep us uh, uh, achieving target on the uh, greenhouse gas emissions. That's something Kong hopes as well. At 28, he has a lot of plans. Getting a job with the market leaders right after university was already an accomplishment. What do I want for the future? I definitely want to get a lot more experience. I still have quite a lot to learn. Cement production is a fairly complex process. Being at the technological forefront is important for him. But it remains to be seen whether imported coal from Indonesia or biomass from the region wins the day.